researchers found a new planet called Proxima B not too far from Earth. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, stargazers got the clearest picture ever of Proxima B. This planet goes around the star closest to our sun, so this picture gives us an amazing look at a world outside our solar system, which makes scientists super curious. So, how did the telescope do this? Could this picture show us a place where life could exist? And what does this discovery mean for understanding other planets and the huge universe? Let's check out the new picture of Proxima b from the James Webb Telescope. Proxima b is a weird planet hanging out near its star, Proxima Centauri, which is only 4.2 light years away. This planet has got people wondering if it's like Earth. Could it have oceans and lots of life? Proxima Centauri also has another big planet with it, called Proxima Centauri c. Proxima Centauri begets about the same amount of energy from its star as Earth gets from the Sun. That's why scientists are curious if it has water or could support life. As we look out into space, there are tons of planets around other stars called exoplanets. With maybe 26 trillion stars out there, there are so many possibilities for these planets. Some of them just float around in space like huge wanderers. Proxima Centauri b is a strange puzzle in this mix. This year is super short, only 11.7 Earth days. It's also much closer to its star than Earth is to the sun. One side of the planet is always sunny, and the other is always dark, which makes it even weirder. Proxima b was first found using a method that looks for small movements in a star caused by a planet's gravity. As the planet goes around the star, it makes the star wobble a bit. Space experts see this by studying changes in the star's light. For Proxima b, these tiny changes showed that there was definitely a planet there, proving that this method works for finding planets far away. Finding Proxima b was a big deal because it meant there was a planet in the right spot for life around the star closest to our sun. This got researchers, experts, and space fans excited to learn more about Proxima b and what it could tell us about the universe and if there's life out there. Proxima Centauri b is something to think about. Proxima Centauri, along with the stars Regulus and Canopus, makes up the closest star system to us. When we look at the night sky, Regulus and Canopus are like bright guides in the Centaurus constellation. They're the third brightest stars, shining really bright. But it's Proxima Centauri that has a cool secret. Also called Alpha Centauri, this red dwarf star is pretty close to its brighter pals. It's still way farther than the distance between Earth and the Sun. Its name means closest star in Latin, which makes sense since it's our closest star neighbor. Back in 1915, a Scottish astronomer named Robert Thorburn Innes showed the world this star. Even though it's close, Proxima Centauri is hard to see without help. But the clearest picture of it is a big step forward. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are powerful. They make energy through strong internal movements, and this star will stay a main star for a long time. But thinking about life on Proxima Centauri is tricky. Because it's a flare star, it has sudden bursts of energy. Also, because it's smaller, any area where life could exist would have to be much closer to the star than Earth is to the Sun. Proxima b is in this area, but it's still really close to the star. That means Proxima b gets a lot of ultraviolet radiation, way more than Earth. This radiation could mess up important stuff like nitrogen and oxygen. Also, just being in the right spot doesn't mean a planet can support life. Proxima b might not have what it needs to keep the temperature right or have water on the surface. Without a good atmosphere, any life would be exposed to the harshness of space, which would make it hard for life to exist like we know it. Still, trying to learn about Proxima b is a big goal in space exploration. One of the main tools for this is the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched in 2021 after some delays, this telescope could help us answer if there's life on Proxima b. Finding out the truth about Proxima b won't be easy. The James Webb Space Telescope had to be adjusted to get good pictures. According to a physicist at Harvard, Proxima b needs a careful look. Because it's in the right spot, it might absorb and send out infrared radiation that the James Webb Space Telescope can detect. This telescope can pick up faint light from the planet's surface, which can help scientists find water or an atmosphere. Whether Proxima b has water is a big question. If it does, the planet is more likely to be able to support life. Proxima b gets about the same amount of solar energy as Earth. 
but because it's close to its red dwarf star, it gets a lot of radiation. That could mess up any atmosphere it has. Also, we don't know if it has liquid water. Right now, scientists are using models to try to figure out what Proxima b is like and if it has water. Some think it might have big oceans, while others think any water might be frozen or buried. Finding water on Proxima b is hard and requires good telescopes. As our tools get better, we'll hopefully learn more about Proxima b's atmosphere and if it has water. But just having an atmosphere doesn't mean Proxima b is livable, says Ed Turner, an astrophysicist at Princeton University. He says the planet might be like Venus with a thick, nasty atmosphere and extreme heat, which wouldn't be good for life. Proxima b is a cool neighbor that makes us wonder about the possibility of life. Because it's close, it's a good target for future space missions. Although we can't get there directly right now, it's still something to think about. Getting to Proxima b would take a super long time with today's tech. But people are thinking of solutions like solar sails, which could help spacecraft travel much faster and maybe reach Proxima Centauri in 20 years. This makes the idea of visiting a planet like Earth feel closer. Finding Proxima b has made people excited about the universe again. It shows that we want to explore, find new worlds, and think about life beyond Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope is amazing, but it has its limits. You can see far away, but it's hard to know for sure if a planet has the right conditions for life. Proxima b, which is like Venus in some ways, reminds us that just having an atmosphere isn't enough. Still, the telescope can find even the smallest signs of life, which is pretty cool. Our universe is huge, and it has lots of planets that are waiting to be explored. These planets, called exoplanets, are all different sizes and shapes. Some are like Jupiter and Saturn, while others are like Earth. Gas giants are a special type of exoplanet. They're similar to Jupiter and Saturn, but they're often much bigger. Some are so big that Jupiter looks small next to them. There are also hot Jupiters, which are gas giants that are super close to their stars. They're so hot that metals could melt on them. But there are other types of exoplanets too like Neptunian exoplanets. These are about the size of Uranus and Neptune. Some, called hot Neptunes, are closer to their stars and have strange atmospheres. Trying to understand distant planets like Proxima b has helped scientists create new technologies that teach us about the universe. By using methods like the transit method, where we watch a star's light dim as a planet passes in front of it, we've found thousands of exoplanets. Many of these planets are in the right spot for liquid water to exist. This makes us wonder if we're alone in the universe. Besides finding planets, astronomers are also looking for signs of life, called biosignatures. By studying the atmospheres of exoplanets, scientists can find gases like oxygen that are linked to life. The James Webb Space Telescope is great for this because it can find these gases even on planets that are far away. If we find biosignatures on an exoplanet, it would be strong proof that life exists elsewhere. Even as we look out at the stars, we're still searching for life in our own solar system. Planets like Mars and moons like Europa are being studied for signs of water and organic stuff. Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, might have a big ocean under its icy surface. Scientists hope that future missions to Europa can find out if there's life in this ocean. Robots are super important for this. Rovers have been gathering info from Mars. The Perseverance rover is looking for signs of ancient life and storing soil samples that could be brought back to Earth. These missions are helping us learn more about the possibility of life beyond Earth. In the future, space exploration will likely focus on finding more Earth-like exoplanets. We'll study their atmospheres and surfaces. New technologies and better telescopes will help scientists make detailed observations of exoplanets, bringing us closer to answering if we're alone in the universe. As we go further into space, studying exoplanets like Proxima b helps us understand planetary systems better. The discoveries made with telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope show how different and complex these planets can be. While Proxima b might not be great for life as we know it, it's still a good candidate for exploration. Scientists are always finding better ways to detect exoplanets, from new imaging to studying their atmospheres. Also, space-based telescopes help us learn more about these planets. Telescopes like JWST are teaching us about their atmospheres, weather, and even seasons. 
As technology gets better, astronomers might find other markers that could hint at life beyond Earth. Understanding exoplanets like Proxima b also helps us learn about our own planet. By studying distant Earth-like planets, we understand Earth's past, present, and future. The info we get from exoplanet research could help us find life and guide future space exploration. Exploring distant places pushes the limits of what we know. The knowledge we get satisfies our curiosity and changes how we see our place in the universe. Every discovery makes us ask bigger questions about life and our surroundings. Proxima b is interesting because it's close, might be livable, and raises so many questions, so it's a hot topic in astronomy. Ultimately, trying to understand exoplanets is a big adventure that will take us to new areas of science and exploration. Every step we take brings us closer to answering if we're alone in the universe.